Welcome again from Soho, the Global Man, Global Woman networking meeting in Soho for the first time. Uh, here with someone who isn't here for the first time, Carl, Carl Emanuelson. Please introduce yourself and let people know what you do. Hello everyone, well I'm Carl and uh, I'm on a mission to get the world loved up. And this has been, uh, uh, it's been a, a four year journey. We started running retreats, myself and my wife, we've got a couple of um, luxurious uh, retreat venues here in the UK and uh, we're passionate about healing couples, healing, fi finding love again in their relationship plus also fueling people's radical well-being so we do that through meditation, mindfulness, ice baths, breath work, lots of weird and wonderful and amazing awakening processes to to help people really find themselves, find the inner peace and uh, yeah, catapult them into the next level and find purpose in life. That is fantastic and you've managed to give a clue as to where I wanted to go next. Uh -huh. Your business partner is also your love partner. Um, can you talk a little bit more about you know, your relationship with Rohini, both in terms of business and personal and, and how you you know, if you've got one or maybe two points that you can give to the audience on how you keep that relationship really fired up. Yeah, no, it's been a long journey. We met in a cheesy nightclub about 23 years ago in the centre of London. And, uh, you know, initially life was really good. There was no stress. We had our corporate careers and uh, life was easy. But then uh, we started running some businesses together. We had three kids in three years and we found ourselves not looking after ourselves. We didn't look after our well-being. And on the outside, it probably looked like we were living uh, a beautiful, uh, beautiful, abundant life. But inside, we were kind of broken and uh, we were really struggling with the relationship. We were struggling in business and, and uh, it was a tough time. But then it, uh, it kind of took actually wifey to, to really say enough's enough, we've got to like, change ourselves and we've got to do all in on first of all working on our relationships, working on our mental well-being, physical well-being so we have more energy, more presence, more focus to um, you know, raise our beautiful three sons and, uh, and also you know, take our relationship, find that love again. And, um, you know, it takes work. It still takes work. Uh, even now, uh, we've been like working really hard on our relationship for quite a long time. We even run uh, couples retreats to help uh, couples find their love again. But we still have to, you know, put focus on. We still have to put date night into the calendar. We still have to remind ourselves to appreciate all the wonderful things about each other. And, uh, and also, it's really important to have that communication. Um, so we do this um, daily walk every morning, we have two little puppies and, uh, and we just share openly how we're feeling, we score ourselves and then, uh, and then one little uh, good trick is, uh, whoever is whoever is feeling, say for example, a 5 out of 10 and the other one is feeling a 3 out of 10, then it's the person who's feeling the 5, who's got the highest score to help raise the uh, the person who's feeling a little bit lower and that, that's kind of a, quite a good framework to uh, to kind of remind ourselves to not just think about what we're feeling ourselves but the other person in the relationship and that we're both re both responsible for um, for each other's well-being so, yeah some good great tips there but also early on in that when you were talking about the almost what sounds like the trigger for you changing the direction you were on it's something that chimes with me and chimes with what we want to do with Global Man and carry that forward into Global Woman, which is, you know, as men in particular, we can get trapped in this idea that, you know, we are first and foremost the provider and we focus on business, whether it's our own business or working in a corporate role. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with providing, but when that is what, you, what defines you and you put that first and foremost, life becomes hard. And the way you described it for me is, you know, there's a change direction. Obviously, we still have to provide, but you started putting focus on yourselves, on your relationship, and doing that first, and letting that flow into your um, into being a provider. Is that fair to say? Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, you can't give what you haven't got. So the most important thing is to make sure that you've got as much energy and as much peace of mind as you possibly can, because otherwise everything becomes difficult. And then when you're when you're when you're feeling abundant, when you're feeling amazing, when you're feeling energized, 
when you've slept properly, you look after yourself, you've got so much more natural energy to, to give to the relationship and to give to your children, to give to your business. You can enter those flow states where you can achieve twice as much as if you're in a, in a stressful, kind of living out of fear mindset. Yeah. Yeah, certainly I'd echo that. I, I made that shift and life becomes much easier when you're living, you know, putting yourself first and living that way around from the inside out rather than the outside in. So thank you very much, Carl. Come along to Global Man if you want to find that energy. Follow up with Carl and Rahini if you want to, look, want to follow up on their retreats as well. Thanks very much.